In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a drop down list inside of Smartsheet. Now, drop down lists are very convenient because it gives you the ability to let the user select from the data that you have pre assigned instead of you having to let the user choose that on their own. So, let me show you what that looks like. Here we have a basic grid sheet and you can see all of our columns here. And if you go over a column and you go to the three little dot column menu and you click on that, you can go down to edit column properties. And here it's going to ask for a column name. You can see it's called column two and a column type. So let's go ahead and let's say that we are tracking fruits. So we'll type fruits in here and under column type, the column can be a text or number. And that's the default for all of the columns. If we click on this little arrow here, we can have different column types. So we want to select drop down list. So we're going to click that. And then it's going to give us some other options. Do we want to allow multiple values per cell? We'll leave that off for now. And do we want to restrict to list values only? We'll also leave that off. And then it asks, what are the values that you want to be included in this drop down list for the user to choose from? So let's say that we have apples bananas, oranges, and pears. Once you're done filling out that data, go ahead and click on the OK button. And you can see that our column has been changed to fruits. And if you click on one of the cells in the column, we now have a drop down list icon. If we click on that, we can select the value that we want. So we can choose apples. And then in the next column, maybe we choose oranges. And whenever anyone is inputting, this just makes it a lot easier if you have pre-chosen uh, bits of data that you want to give them already. Now let's take a look at some of the other options. So if we go back up to that column menu and we click on that, go down to edit column properties. And one of the options is allow multiple values per cell. So let me cancel this real quick. Right now, if you click on any of these, you can only select one option at a time. But what if we want to give the user the ability to select multiple options? Well, that's what that option does. So if we go back to the menu and go to edit column properties, let's turn on allow multiple values per cell and hit OK. You'll see that the formatting has changed within these cells. If we click on this and we click on the drop down uh, list icon, you can now see that we have one item selected and it's apples and there's a checkbox next to that. Now we can click any of these check boxes and add to that selection. So if we click out of there, you can see that multiple things have been added. Now it's getting cut off. So you'll need to click up here and resize the column. Or you'll need to go over and click the wrap button on the menu bar. And then if you bring that column back, it will wrap those for you like that. However you want to view that is up to you. But you can see that now people can select multiple options whenever they're using the sheet. So if we go back to that uh, drop down list, you can see at the top there's four selected. There's a checkbox there. If we click it, it will deselect everything. If you click it again, it will select everything. You can click any of these check boxes to remove or add. And if you want to remove them, you can also click the little X next to their name inside of that drop down list. So that is how we make a multiple selection list inside of this column. If you go back to the column menu and go down to edit column properties, we can go ahead and turn that off. And then the next option is restrict to list values only. So let's hit OK real quick. And currently people can come up here and they can make selections in these cells of whatever they would like, but they can also double click in that cell and type in whatever they would like. So let's say someone came in here and put celery and that's not right because you know, that's not a fruit. We don't want that in this column. They have the option to edit those. Well, we don't want to give them access. We want them to only be able to choose what's in this list. So if we go up to that column menu and we go to edit column properties, we can click on restrict to list values only and turn that on and then go to okay and you they will get an error message whenever they try to input anything that isn't on that list. So this says one cell in the fruits column has a value that isn't a drop down value. The column restriction setting will apply to future changes. We'll hit OK. Now we'll go in and let's say that we've chosen apples and then someone tries to double click on this and type in celery. Oops. 
and hit enter. It says the column is restricted to drop down values. As a sheet admin, you can allow this change. It will not affect the restriction setting. Now, I can allow this change because I'm an administrator. I've created this sheet myself. But anyone who is not an administrator who's trying to work on this sheet uh, will get a warning and not be able to input that information. So if I hit cancel, it won't accept it. It will just default back to the apples. So that is how you can go ahead and make any of these columns into a drop down list. Let's say that you wanted to add in your own uh, new column. So if you go to, let's say we want to add a column to the right of the fruits and make a vegetables column. So if we go to the column menu and we click on that and we go to insert column right, it's going to give us the options to choose what type of column we want. So let's go ahead and name this vegetables and we'll pick drop down list and we will leave these unchecked and let's say celery carrots uh, beets and lettuce and hit ok and now you can see we have the drop down list for these items here in a column so that is how you add a drop down list inside of smartsheet